In this video, I explain the log rank test. We will go through what the log rank test is and how it is calculated. The formulas used are from the very recommendable book Survival Analysis by David G. Kleinbaum and Mitchell Klein. And with that I would say, let's start with the first question. What is the log rank test? The log rank test is used in survival time analysis and compares the distribution of time to occurrence of an event of two or more independent samples. But now step by step, what does distribution mean? What does time until an event occurs mean? And what does two or more independent samples mean? Let's start from the back, I would say, with two or more independent samples. With the log rank test, you can test if there is a difference between two or more different groups. For example, whether there is a difference between two different materials used for a dental filling. Now the next question is, in terms of what is there a difference? The log rank test analyzes whether there is a difference in the time until an event occurs. Now what does time until an event occurs mean? The log rank test looks at the variable that has a start time and when a certain event occurs an end time. The time between the start time and the event is considered in the log rank test. The time can be measured in days, weeks or months. In our example, we might be interested in whether the material has an influence on the time after which the filling breaks out again. So we have a start point, the moment when the filling is inserted, and we have an end point or event, which is the time when the filling breaks out again. We are interested in the time between the start and the end, that is, the time between the insertion of the filling and the breaking out of the filling. And how do we compare the times until the filling breaks out again? We do this with the help of the Kaplan-Meier curve or with the table that is used to create this graph. Here the time is entered on the x-axis and the survival rate on the y-axis. What is the survival rate? The Kaplan-Meier curve tells you how likely it is that a filling will last longer than a certain time. Let's say you want to know how likely it is that a filling will last longer than, let's say, 5 years. Then you can read from the Kaplan-Meier curve that it is 70% likely that a filling will last longer than 5 years. But now we want to check whether there is a difference between two materials. So we enter both curves in the chart. The question that the log rank test now answers is, is there a significant difference between the two curves? Or in other words, does the filling material have an influence on the survival time of the filling? With this, we can now come to the null and the alternative hypothesis of the log rank test. The null hypothesis is, both groups have identical distribution curves. And the alternative hypothesis is both groups have different distribution curves. So as always with a statistical hypothesis test, you get a p-value at the end of the log rank test. The question is whether this p-value is greater than the significance level or not. The significance level is set to 0.05 in most cases. If the calculated p-value is greater than 0.05, the null hypothesis is retained. So, based on the available data, it is assumed that both groups have the same distribution curve. If the p-value is smaller than 0.05, the null hypothesis is rejected. But how do I calculate the log rank test? I will now show you how to calculate the log rank test online with DataTab and after that we will go through what the formulas behind it are and how the log rank test can be calculated by hand. This helps a lot in understanding it. For this we first go to datatab.net and copy our own data into this table. Then you click on plus and click on the survival analysis tab. 
We have here once a column with the time and then a column that tells you whether the event has occurred or not. Here one stands for occurred and zero stands for censored. Then we have the variable material with the two materials A and B. Depending on what you click here, the appropriate methods are calculated for you. If you select only the variable time, the Kaplan-Meier survival curve is displayed with the corresponding table. If no variable with status is given, it is assumed that no case is censored. If this is not the case, you can simply click here at status on the variable that contains the data, whether the event has occurred or not. If you now select a factor, for example the material, the log rank test will be calculated. You can now read here the null and the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is, there is no difference between groups A and B in terms of the distribution of time until the event occurs. And the alternative hypothesis is, there is a difference between groups A and B in terms of the distribution of time until the event occurs. Here below you can read the results. Here you can see the p-value for the log rank test. If you don't know exactly how to interpret this, you can simply click on Summary in words. A log rank test was calculated to see if there was a difference between groups A and B in terms of the distribution of time to event occurrence. For the present data, the log rank test showed that there is a difference between the groups in terms of the distribution of time until the event occurs p smaller than 0.01. The null hypothesis is thus rejected. Therefore, if this p-value is greater than the predefined significance level, which is in most cases 5%, the null hypothesis is retained. That is, there is no difference. If the p-value is smaller, then the null hypothesis is rejected and it is assumed, based on available data, that there is a difference between the curves. And now I will show you how to calculate the log rank test by hand. Let's say we have group 1 and group 2 and we want to test if both groups have the same survival time function. Here we see the times when either an event occurred or the respective case was censored. 1 means event occurred, 0 means censored. If we look at our previous example with the filling materials, then the groups would each have received different material for the filling. Let's say the time is in years, then for group 1 the first filling would have failed after 2 years, the second filling after three years and so on and so forth. In order to calculate a log rank test, we have to combine both tables. To do this, we first note down all the time points that occur in the groups. This is 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. It is important that the times when only censored cases occurred are not included in the table. At time 5, one case was censored, but otherwise 5 does not occur, so we do not include time 5 in this table. Similar to the Kaplan-Meier curve, we now fill in the columns M, Q and N for groups 1 and 2 respectively. M tells us for how many people an event has occurred exactly at this point in time. For group 1, after 2 years, one filling has broken out, after 3 years again one filling, at time 4 and 6 nothing has happened, at time 7 two fillings have broken out and at time 8 one. Q tells us at which time how many cases were censored. Here we have only the time 5. Since we, as already said, did not take over this time in the table, this value is assigned to the next earlier time, thus at 4. Therefore a 1 stands here. 
We can now do the same for the second group. From the generated tables, we can now calculate the so-called expected values. For group 1, this is done with this formula and for group 2, with that formula. Let's take a look at the first case. n1 is 6 and n2 is also 6. Therefore, we have 6 divided by 6 plus 6 and m1 is 1 and m2 is 2. Therefore, we have 1 plus 2. This gives us 1.5. We now do this for all the rows and for both groups. Now we need the observed values minus the expected values. For this we simply calculate m1 minus e1 or m2 minus e2. We get these values for each group. Now we can calculate the so-called log rank statistic. For this we can take either the values of group 1 or of group 2 we just take the values of group 2. O2 minus E2 is calculated by adding up these values, which is 1.15. But what is the variance of this? The variance is calculated with this formula. So we first calculate for each row this expression here, and then we add it up. In our case, we get 1.78. Now we can calculate the log rank statistic. In our case we get 0.74. The log rank statistic is equivalent to a chi-square value. Therefore the critical p-value can be determined via the chi-square distribution. The required degrees of freedom are given by the number of groups minus 1. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.